Hello everyone, my name is Naveed, I am CEO of ZRVisas.com, uh, we are registered immigration firm uh, in UK and we provide immigration advice to public and to the businesses. Uh, today's topic is uh, family visas in UK, uh, people want to bring their families like their spouse and children, uh, particularly spouse uh, or their partners. Uh, that is quite actually confusing uh, and uh, uh, we can say uh, a lot of wrong terms are used in the context. People really don't understand uh, what is the difference between marriage visa, spouse visa and fiancé visa. Uh, we are not going in much details today but we just like uh, to highlight the main difference between all of these three categories or what are the actually options are for you to bring your spouse in the UK or if they are already in the UK, how we can extend their stay or they can switch from another visa category to the spouse or partner visa. We will start from marriage visitor visa as it looks quite obvious from its name. The person or the partner is coming in the UK just to get married and then they will go back to the country from where they came and they will make an application from the country of their residence. So let's say if somebody is coming from USA and they want to get married in UK to their spouse, they will come into, come into the UK, they will get married, register their marriage in the UK, they will go back and then they will make an application as a spouse or partner. Next one is uh, the fiancé visa. Fiancé visa is when somebody is coming in the UK, they want to get married here and they want to switch from inside the UK rather than leaving the country and then making an application from outside. So the difference between the marriage visa and the spouse visa, marriage visa and my apologies, marriage visa and the fiancé visa is in marriage visitor visa, the person is going back, but in fiancé visa, they have option to switch to the spouse visa and then they can stay inside the UK. They do not have to leave the country. A third option is called commonly known as a spouse visa or partner visa. That route, that route allows people who are already married and they, their marriage is registered. They can come in the UK. They have to make an application from outside uh, and, and that they normally get 33 months visa. So the spouse visa is actually for the people who are married and they have a registered uh, marriage whether inside the UK or outside and the fourth option we have is the unmarried marriage civil partnership uh, the, requir the basic requirement of this visa is that the both of the partners have been living together outside the UK for two years so two years is the minimum term uh, to uh, be eligible for unmarried partner visa I hope I clearly uh, explain you the difference between all of these categories if you have any questions you can ever visit our website zrvisas.com there's a lot of information which will actually you can find it very helpful uh, we have a lot of information about english language requirements financial requirements and uh, the test actually which you have to do uh, when you're applying from outside and when you're applying from inside the uk uh, remember uh, the requirements keep changing so you should always go on gov.uk to get the latest information at all okay uh, thank you very much guys for watching this video I hope you like it if you want to uh, keep yourself updated you can like our page and then we'll be posting a lot of other videos next one is likely to be the financial requirements of the spouse visa thank you for watching